Hello all, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we will solve the fourth challenge of Advanced Formulas module of Admin Advanced. The name of the challenge is Use Text Formulas. So let's move to the challenge. So in this challenge, we need to create a formula field that returns an image to indicate the data quality. So we need to create a formula field called Lead Quality Helper on the lead object. And then we need to use this formula field into another formula field called Lead Quality on the lead object itself. So let's move to the org and create this challenge. So in the org we are going to the object manager and in the object manager we are going to search for an object called lead. So here we are going to search for an object called lead. So here it is. And in the lead object we are going to the fields and relationships to create a new formula field and in the fields and relationship we are going to the new and the name of the formula field is given to us it is lead quality helper so let's copy this thing from here and it should return the type number so here the data type is formula we are going to click on next and the field label is lead quality helper we have copied it from there and the return type of the formula field is number. So let's select number from here. And we are going to click on next. Now the formula fields appear. So we need to write something in the formula field. So the helper formula should evaluate the five fields, email, phone, company, title, and industry. And it should return zero if any of these fields is blank. And if the field is not blank, it should return one and finally the formula should add all the values together to return a total value so we are going to see whether the values of any of these fields are blank or not so first we are going to use the function called is blank so here it is and is blank is a function we are going to use the first with email so let's insert a field called email here here it is. I'm going to insert it. So we are going to surround this is blank with the if function. So again, we are going to use the if function here. I'm going to insert this function. So this is the logical test which we are performing inside the if function. And we are going to replace it with this parameter. And if it is true, then we are going to return 0. And if it is false, then we are going to return one so this is it now we are going to add all the fields so we are going to insert another operator called addition here it is and we are going to repeat this same step for phone company title and industry fields so let's copy this thing so we are going to copy this thing from here and we are going to paste it again plus then then plus let's put a space here so it is readable so these are the things now we need to replace this email with another field called phone so we are going to insert the field called phone here here it is phone I'm going to insert it so email phone and another one is company so let's insert the field called company here it is we are going to insert it now again another field called title so insert field and this time we are going to search for title here it is so we have searched till title now we have to find the value of industry so industry is a pick list value so the formula of finding whether the pick list is blank or not is different we will not be using is blank function here instead of that we are going to use another function called is pick val so here is a function is pick val so pick list value field is industry so here is the industry if the industry is doesn't contain any value so in that case 
we are going to return 0 otherwise we are going to return 1 and finally we are going to surround it with the if function so here it is we are having the formula we are checking the fields email phone company title and industry whether they are blank or they contain any value so we are going to check syntax whether we have done it correct or not so yes there are no errors so we are good here we are going to click on next and yeah it should be visible to all so we are going to click on next again and we are not going to add it in any of the page layouts so let's click on save so one formula field we have created we are going to create another formula field called lead quality so again we are going to the fields and relationships and click on new and this time also we are going to select the data type as formula and the label of the field is given to us it should be lead quality so let's copy this thing from here and going to paste it so lead quality is here now the return type of this field should be text so let's select text from here and click on next now we are going to write the formula so in this formula field we are going to use the formula field which we have created called lead quality helper and this is the thing which we need to do if the formula has returned one so we need to show this image with an alternate text called one star similarly if it returns two then this image with alternate text of two stars and for all the three four and five if if zero is returned or any other value is returned then we need to have a default image called this one and alternate text is equals to zero stars so here we are going to use the case function so let's search for the case function here it is so it says the expression value one result one value one result two and all these things so expression in our case it should be the field which we have created the formula field so that is the lead quality helper so we are going to search for that so here the lead quality helper which we have created so the value one in this case is the one the image which we need to return so this is the image which we need to return so let's copy this thing from here and we are going to put this thing inside uh, another function called image so we can search any function called image here it is so we are going to replace all these things and the image url we have just copied from the challenge it is this thing and the alternate text is also specified in the challenge which is one star so let's copy this thing also from here and we'll paste it here so similarly we are going to do this thing for all the five results one two three and five so value two will be two and the result of this thing will be let's copy this thing from here and we'll paste it here the image name is 200.gif and the alternate text is two stars so we're just going to replace one with two here and one with two here similarly we are going to do the other things like three four and five so let's copy this thing from here and we're going to paste it here again for four and this is for five just replace the things like three four and five with here as well three four and five also we need to change the alternate text in this case it is three star in this case it is four star and in this case it is five star so this is it now the else result is also there which we need to give so we already have the else result given in this challenge if any of these condition is not met then we need to return this thing so let's copy this thing also from here and we are going to paste this thing in the else result so the else result also we need to put into the image so the image URL we have copied it is this 
and the alternate text is zero star so this is it what we have done is we have created a case function and inside the case function we are going to use the lead quality helper which we have created just before this formula field and in that if that lead quality helper value has one then we are showing this image with an alternate text one star if two then this three four and five if any of these things are not met then we are going to show the default image with this zero star alternate text so let's check whether our formula is correct or not so yes there is no error in our formula let's click on next and finally there is one more condition the challenge that the lead quality formula must be added to the lead layout page layout so it should be visible to all and we are going to add this formula field in the lead layout page layout so here it is the last one we are going to click on save and yes the two fields we have created so we are done with the challenge all the conditions we have done so let's check whether we have done it correct or not so yes we have completed this challenge see you guys in the next video with a new challenge thank you